Hey, what is up guys? It's the Dino Gamer back in the video. Today I'm here with another Jurassic World Evolution discussion video. And today guys, we're gonna be talking about some things in regards to the newest update that's coming out next month. Starting with the fact that we finally got a release date for the update, which is June 18th of next month. Along with the release date, we also have a bunch of updates along with the Spinosaurus and a little bit more on the gyrosphere and terrain tools, but really nothing new. Basically just a recap on what we've learned through the feature focuses in these last couple of weeks. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to cover the feature focuses from last week mainly because I was really busy, but now gyrospheres can travel from one dinosaur enclosure to the other because according to last week's feature focus, we are going to be getting gates for our gyrospheres, which is actually really cool. So now they can uh, pretty much travel from one enclosure to the next. And we are also going to be getting new feeders, which are fish feeders for your Spinosaurus. But according to the newest feature focus, that is not the only thing our Spinosaurus will be getting. Spinosaurs are receiving some refinement for their care with the addition of a wetland need to represent their swamp and coastal environment, as well as new fish feeders. They'll prefer to eat fish over standard meat or goats, so do add these into their homes to ensure their content in their environments. So it looks like the Spinosaurs are having a spa day because along with new fish feeders, it looks like they're also going to get some new, you know, stuff for their environment and a way to make them more content into their enclosures. And it's very possible that the Spinosaurus' happiness could correlate with some of the new things that we're getting in this uh, summer update, including some of the terrain, maybe the, uh, the shrubbery, the trees, the rocks, pretty much anything. And I feel like maybe this is supposed to be like a test run for Frontier, if that, you know, that is the case. Because maybe it might, it might work, it might not, people might like like people might not but again this is just speculation i don't think frontier may do this i feel like this is kind of a long shot but it, it seems possible that a dinosaur would rather live with a specific type of vegetation than another or a different type of i guess terrain you know maybe it doesn't want to live in a grassy you know plain area maybe it wants to live in a more muddy or sandy environment i don't know that's just that's just what i'm thinking i feel like that maybe some dinosaurs might want a more accurate feel maybe depending on the genome of your animal certain dinosaurs will want to live in certain terrains or in different vegetations or with more rocks than usual or whatever. I don't really know. Again, this seems like something that would be totally possible for Jurassic World Evolution, but again, kind of a long shot, mainly because I feel like, again, it does kind of limit us and it does, you know, focus more on trying to basically work with building up your dinosaur DNA rather than just creating a park. And along with all these new stuff, we're also gonna get some bug fixes and tweaks towards things like monorails, dinosaurs and buildings, and a bunch of other stuff. So, hey, I mean, it's small, and it might not be much, but I mean, bug fixes are always a plus because, you know, they fix some of the more glitchier and uh, crappier things that Jurassic World uh, Evolution has. But as far as the update, I think that's pretty much it for now. I'm not really sure there's gonna be any more feature focuses between now and June 18th. I feel like there will be a couple more, but I feel like this is pretty much all that Frontier would be giving us in this update. I feel like anything else would be like, whoa, that's a lot and more than usual. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I totally love more stuff, but I feel like with the time given, this seems like pretty much the maximum things that Frontier would give us. But that's just what I'm thinking. Maybe they have more stuff for us and hey, that's that's fine by me. I'm not gonna complain. But we do have some more exciting news because according to the newest feature focus, we are actually gonna be getting some paid content, which is very exciting. This is what the article says. These features will be coming along with a number of bug fixes and game tweaks to certain areas of the game like monorails, dinosaurs, buildings, and more, as well as some super exciting paid content which we will be talking about separately soon. Which is very exciting and my guess is that the feature focuses won't end here. I'm guessing that the feature focus for next week will be revealing this paid content since that, you know, people really do like these feature focuses and they do focus more on, you know, some of the newer things that Jurassic World Evolution is going to have soon. So, you know, that, you know, that being said, I feel like the DLC or, you know, whatever paid content this will be, will be announced in a feature focus. But as far as, you know, the actual, you know, DLC or paid content is, we don't know anything. This is literally all frontier has pretty much revealed to us but you know this could be a number of things this could you know definitely be another dinosaur pack this could be a dlc i don't really know what this could be but honestly i am so excited i feel like uh we we've only really gotten a couple of dlcs uh the fallen kingdom dlc and the secrets of dr Wu dlc one of which was actually free uh which was the fallen kingdom one and the only thing that the fallen kingdom dlc really offered was you know new dinosaurs and some bug fixes but the newest dlc for secrets of dr Wu offered a whole new story 
with different sections of the island for us to work on. And I think people really liked that and it was such a big hit that maybe Frontier might be doing something similar to that again. Now there was speculation earlier in the last couple of months that there might be a Claire Deering DLC where basically you would have to plant shrubbery or in trees and whatnot. And seeing how we are gonna get that in the newest update, that doesn't seem too far-fetched. A lot of people were speculating about this DLC and thought that no, this doesn't seem like it's possible mainly because it might seem like a boring topic. It's not gonna be fun. But honestly, depending on how the missions go, it could very well be fun. And if this is the case, this DLC will show us that it's just more than just planting trees and shrubbery, that it's gonna actually be a thing that you're gonna really need to take consideration in in order to make your dinosaurs comfortable or else they will break out. But again, that's just speculation, nothing's confirmed. That's just some of the rumors I've been overhearing these last couple of months. And I feel like, you know, if there is gonna be a Claire Daring, you know, DLC with, you know, basically where you just plant stuff, I feel like, yes, maybe the topic itself might seem boring, but who knows how the actual gameplay will go. Maybe that will actually be a different story. Maybe it'll be fun and maybe it'll be a challenge and whatnot. But uh, again, speculation. So, you know, this is not confirmed or anything. So don't think, you know, yeah, we're going to get a clear tearing DLC because that's not the case because we don't know yet. And like I said before, this could very well be another dinosaur pack, but I don't really think that's gonna be the case this time around because I feel like Frontier has only really released dinosaur pack as just a way for the sake of releasing content, just to keep the game somewhat alive, you know? Kind of keep people thinking, okay, we're just gonna milk these dinosaurs for as much as possible. That way they think, you know, we're totally giving up on this game and then bam, we're gonna hit them with something big, like a big update to improve some of the game's features. So that's kind of what they did. But people really just thought that they were attempting to keep this game alive by just bringing in dinosaurs and literally ignoring the rest of the game's problems, which was not the case at all. I feel like they purposely brought in these dinosaur packs as a way to distract us from some of the bigger things that they were working on. But that's just, you know, what I think. It's possible that that's not the case at all. But I feel like obviously they would because they, they clearly are spending a lot of time trying to fix this game up. But that's also why I think this is not gonna be another dinosaur pack because I feel like Frontier has learned their lesson and feel like maybe instead of, you know, putting out another dinosaur pack and getting all this backlash, we're going to put out some actual content like a DLC or or just just something. Who knows? Maybe another island to work on. Maybe like a, a, a San Diego park. I don't know. Like maybe something on the mainland. I don't know. This is this seems far fetched because it's a Jurassic World evolution and it's based off uh, the five deaths and Isla Nublar and not really anything on the mainland. But wouldn't that be really cool if we just got a DLC that had something to do with that? Because the thing about Jurassic Jurassic World and Jurassic Park is that sometimes you have to go back to the mainland because that's, you know, that's where that's where some of the bigger iconic events of these movies happened, you know, T-Rex in San Diego and now the, in, not the Indoraptor, but, you know, all those dinosaurs loose in uh, Northern California and stuff like that. I just think that'd be cool. And that's just speculation, of course, and not like any of this is confirmed, but I feel like Frontier is going to be doing like a DLC of some sort. But again, there hasn't really been anything confirmed, so we don't know anything quite yet about it. But according to this, it will be coming out soon. So I will keep you guys posted on that, along with anything else they might reveal for the newest update that's coming out this summer. Because uh, part of me feels like that we are going to get a little bit of more stuff. But then again, I feel like that this might be it. But either way, I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied with the things that Frontier are going to be giving us this summer. And, you know, if they give us more, then that's, that's great. The more, the better. I mean, that's just something the fans have been asking for for a long time. It's just more stuff for Jurassic World Evolution. They want to be able to play the game and feel like they're not limited while they're doing it. They want to be able to feel challenged, but at the same time be free to, you know, mess around with terrain and, and decorations and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are also hoping for, you know, like fountains and benches and bathrooms and stuff. And who knows, we might get that in the future, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to be here in this newest update. But, you know, it's, you know, they're taking it one step at a time. We asked for, you know, more variation within, you know, vegetation and Frontier is giving us that. So I think if we wait a little bit longer and be a little bit more patient, we will eventually get what we want. And no, that doesn't mean hating or yelling or screaming at Frontier because uh, a lot of people were upset at the fact that Frontier didn't release, you know, decorations or plant variations right away when the game was first released and, you know, right away thought that the game was very limited and, you know, in, in a sense they were right and basically they, ha you know, gave their suggestion to Frontier and their ideas and when Frontier, you know, didn't give them what they wanted right away, they pretty much rage. People in the Jurassic World Evolution community can be a bit extreme sometimes. 
sometimes. And, you know, that that's that's just a fact. You know, I'm not trying to say that to be mean or anything. I'm just saying it's just that, you know, when it comes to the content that, you know, Frontier releases for their game, some people are just not satisfied with it and resort to, you know, saying some very mean comments and i just want i just don't want people to you know you know take what i'm saying and be, be like oh okay let's go scream at them so that way it motivates them to give them what we want no please don't do that but anyways guys that's pretty much it for today's video on you know this new update that's coming out next month and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more jurassic world evolution discussion videos and other cool stuff i post on this channel that's all i have to say for now guys thank you so much for watching and please have a nice day